So uh, we're living in the age of AI, uh, and um, uh, wherever you go in the Bay Area, everybody's talking about large language models. So everybody's playing with ChatGPT, BARD, Llama. We have an explosion of these domain-specific architectures that are really um, uh, focused towards uh, a set of workloads uh, to efficiently implement those specific workloads. And Grok is uh, just one of those domain-specific architecture, the Grok chip. On this slide, I show uh, our chip, and this regular nature of the chip is really enabling us to kind of focus uh, even our static sign-off and simplify that as well. Um, if you look at the top and the bottom of the chip, this is where uh, you see most of the asynchronous interfaces. These are the, uh, the, the kind of the C2Cs, CERTIs that are really um, driving asynchronous crossings. This is where we have focused CDC and RDC. Um, and then the rest of the core is running on a single clock. So there is no um, uh, different clock domains crossing. So here we can focus on Lint and try to get the maximum benefit out of that. Now out of Lint, we have very repeated blocks. So that also streamlines how quickly we can move through static sign off. We actually engage with Lint very early in the flow. Uh, this is all automated. So uh, we maintain our repositories always Lint clean. Um, so as soon as somebody um, uh, ch makes a change in RTL, we automatically launch uh, kind of lint and other checks to make sure that those are clean before they're checked in into our golden repository. So using this approach, we've been able to um, really uh, increase the, the speed of iteration. Um, and we've really enjoyed the tools from the aspect of uh, reduction in false positives. This is minimizing distraction for our logic team. Um, and then, as I mentioned, the automated lint really keeps our repositories always clean and ready to kind of tape out.